Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ryan here. Um, I haven't done a, re a movie review in a very long time. Um, I'm going to re review the movie Spectre, the new James Bond film. I saw Die Another Day, I saw View to a Kill, I've seen like maybe like another Sean Connery movie. The Cinema Royale is one of the first movies that I, actually the first movie I saw by myself in theaters. It's actually one of the first DVDs I've ever bought. Um, I have a really, I had a really memorable time watching that movie. I saw every single um, Daniel Craig James Bond movie in theaters. Favorite one is Casino Royale. That's actually, that's actually one of my favorite movies. I actually avoided a lot of the commercials for Spectre. I think it was for a good reason. Um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. Of course, Daniel Craig was good. The actress, the bomb girl, amazing actress, beautiful actress. She's from Blue is the Warmest Color. She was really good as a bomb girl. Very young though, so it's kind of weird seeing her and Daniel Craig together. It was a very simple story, but I felt that it was told very well. It was very well paced, and I felt that like it was like, you know, point A, point B, point C. It's a two and a half hour movie, and I felt that when I was watching it, it was actually really well paced. What I like the most about this movie is that it's a very beautiful story about, I'm not going to say spoil it, it's a good story about redemption, um, closure, and going back to the past and finding out secrets. There's like a lot of um, tie-ins to Casino Royale, Quantum Souls, and Skyfall. I highly recommend that if you haven't seen them in a while, I recommend me watching them. It ties into a lot to uh, the past movies. And um, this movie goes back to the past of what happened. I love the climax in this movie and the thing is that it, it was building up. In the beginning I was like, where is this movie gonna go? I literally have no idea what, how this movie's gonna progress. And like, this movie's not that great. And as eventually when I was learning what was going on and, and the secrets that was happening in the past, it was very interesting. And I really liked the story of like what of the things that James Bond did and how he got closure with a lot of things. It's well directed, especially at the beginning. There is one shot in this movie, it's gorgeous. It's beautifully filmed, the action sequences, the cinematography. This was insane, so it just kind of were dragging out. And some scenes could have been cut off, so this movie could have been a lot shorter. It's a good film, not great. I'm going to give this film a 7.5 out of 10. The best thing about this movie is um, the story, you know, of how the story unfolds. And I really like that. It was really interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want. And until next time, guys, I'm Ryan. See you guys later. Doo -doo -doo -doo.